Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Merge Dragon season. Um, at this point, I am working on quest number 9, which is to heal 55 pieces of land. Um, and definitely going to be taking that out to the world map. So, let's go ahead and do that. So this is my second um, seasons video. In the first one, we did the first few quests, and I talked about one of my favorite levels for the season, which is this one right here, Secret the Healer. I really like this one. Um, I tend to get decent purple stars from this level. I It has a lot of land to heal, so it's great for any healing quest. And um, what I really like is when two of the season quests will sort of go back to back with each other. So I'm hoping that the next quest after this land healing one is going to be one that is easy to work on um, in this level. So we'll find out. If you don't have the season, because I I heard yesterday that um, this is technically still in beta, so there are some people who don't have the season. Um, hopefully you'll be getting it soon, and yeah, then you'll be able to take a look at some of these videos, hopefully, and get some ideas and some help with how to move through the season quickly and effectively. All kinds of leaves going on here. Make that merge for some healing, make that merge for some healing. All right, it will be Okay, so we got that one. So we get a chest sent back to our camp, and we get, was this just one? This is three prism dragon eggs sent to the camp. Merge eggs or dragons in camps and levels. Okay, we can actually get a little bit of that in this. Um... But most of that I'm going to try to get in my camp because that works on my dragon power. And working on dragon power, always a good thing. Alright, let me see. feel like I need to refocus. I was looking at the season stuff so much that I stopped paying attention to how to play this level. There we go. Very nice, very nice. So we've got one Golem Dragon Egg right there, and usually there's at least two, yep, right there. And then the rest of this level sort of heals itself with this statue. So to get another little um, merge, go ahead and merge those three together. Because, yeah, at this point, I mean, we can, we can do stuff to help it along, but the amount of healing that the statue does is so much more than what we're probably going to be doing with these other little things that it almost doesn't matter. There we go, there we go. Okay, so I can get a merge right there. Very nice. Bring this statue over here. Okay, then we just have to get these other statues healed up. Hmm. 
no purple stars on this one, but that's okay. Yeah, on one of my playthroughs of this level yesterday, I ended up getting two purple stars in one playthrough. It was awesome. I always love when that happens. It is rare, but it is nice. It's kind of like winning the jackpot. Alright. Everything is healed, so we can wrap up this level, head back to camp and see about merging some stuff. Merging some dragons. I'm not really sure if there's a huge benefit <laughs> to making these kinds of merges as the levels are ending, but I always have fun kind of racing the end of the level to see how much I can put together. All right, I don't want the topsoil. And now my chest room is full. And now we can head back to camp. And I'm going to have to move that tree to pop that bubble. There we go. Three... Beautiful prism dragon eggs. So excited about those. And what is that? That's a dragon tree. I'm not working on my dragon trees right now. So I'm just going to leave that in the bubble. And pull it over here. It can hang out right there. Alright, so I'm looking for eggs and dragons to merge. I did save, oops, let's move that up. I did save one merge from yesterday. Hmm. It was a green dragon merge. Very nice. Very nice. All right, but that's the end of those merges. So the next piece is to, let's see, I think I'm going to work on getting some more coins so I can buy some dragon eggs. I'm trying not to merge my flowers too much. Um, just because I know we have quests that are going to come up about that. But it is making my camp really messy. <laughs> Alright. Not saving those at all. Put that up there. Harvesting all of the watermelons. Harvesting all of the watermelon trees. Yeah, I'm pretty close to being able to um, get a couple more tiaras. So that I think is a really good option. If you are sort of in this position and you don't have the watermelon trees to harvest to try and get those high level coins um, to be able to buy more dragon eggs quickly, there are other ways of getting um, dragon eggs. I could bring out my um, dragon trees. Right now I have them bubbled. Um, and harvest those, and then you would get the mystery, um, the mystery eggs. Another way of getting some dragon eggs fairly quickly, it's not the fastest method, but you can always build, uh, the bush wonder, the ruins of the sky palace. It takes a 
about an hour to build that from scratch. So if you have any um, bushes or... Oh my goodness, my brain is blanking out on what you need for that. Um, if you already have the dragon trees, and if you have any bushes already, that's just going to make it that much faster. Um, so you can always do that, and that will give you some eggs. You could also go into levels and play levels that would, you know, every time you merge something or make a dragon in the levels, it's going to count for this. But it's not something you get to bring back to your camp. Um, so I always, I like to use the seasons as a way to improve my camp. Sometimes I get impatient. In my last video, I got impatient with the life flowers. Uh, definitely. But with the dragon eggs, uh, when you only need eight merges, it seems like you should... It seems worth it to just stay in your camp, mess around, get some more dragon power. Um, as we get further along, it might be less, it might feel less worth it. Um, you know, when you have even more merges you need to make in order to get to that next see four seven ten merge right there um, when you to get to that next quest we do have a month to do all of these quests so there's really no reason to be in a hurry I just really want all of the speed boosts in time for this weekend's event so that's why I'm kind of rushing through this and trying to um, finish the season quickly so I can have all of those boosts, which is going to make playing the event um, go really nicely. Uh, which is going to be especially helpful. It's a double event weekend. I tend to find most people who play Merge Dragons also play Merge Magic. Um, so... If you are doing both of those, we've got two really, really awesome looking events this weekend. And I was not playing Merge Magic last year at this time, so I didn't get any of the Christmas creatures, which is, oh, let me think. I think they are called, they're based on dogs and cats. So I want to say it's the Rue Dog. So it's like Rudolph, if he was a dog. It's green. It's got a red nose. It's pretty cute. Um, and then there is a little green cat with like red ears. And I cannot, for the life of me, remember what it was called. But it was very cute. And I don't have any of them, so I definitely want to finish up those events this weekend and make sure I get all of those. So with having a double event weekend, you know, if I can have the speed boost in Merge Dragons to finish this event that much faster, it will just be helpful. Also with the Merge Dragons event, this one is the Star Oasis which I'm incredibly excited about. It has the Egyptian dragon, so the set dragon, and the Anubis dragon, which are two of my favorites, and they also happen to be two of the most rare dragons. So very excited to play that event and, you know, get that entirely finished up and be able to double all of my rewards and hopefully get some of those high-level rare dragons. Um, so yeah, speed boost, definitely a big priority for me. If you're just taking your time, working through your season, hey, that is perfectly awesome. Um, and yeah, there's no reason to put in tons of extra effort to get dragon eggs quickly because you're gonna get them. Like, you get them with your level chest and 
you know, sometimes in the daily chest, depending on which one it is, you might get those larger egg pieces that when you put them together, you get all of your baby dragons. I am close to having that. Um, so if I look here, I've got one super egg there, two super eggs over here, and then I've got two super egg pieces. So I only need three more super egg pieces and I'll be able to do a five merge to get a ton of new little baby dragons. Um, so that's always really exciting. All right. <laughs> All of these life flowers are just everywhere. Oh, it's driving me a little crazy to not merge them. <laughs> but it's okay. It is. It's all part of the strategy. Doing it on purpose. All right, there we go. So this is going to give me two of those magic gem of life tiaras very nice um move those over okay so now i can buy some eggs and get those last few merges for this part i'm working on getting the level 10 of the green dragon so i'm gonna buy a bunch of green dragon eggs there we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I didn't check to see if I had any green dragon eggs floating around on my map. Um, I don't. I don't. They would be right in this top row where I keep all of my, um, yeah, all of my I, I call them the basic dragons. They're the ones that you can just buy from the shop. Alright, so there's going to be one. There's going to be two. Three. And four. Very nice. So let's claim this. I get a an occult chest and a prism flower and then merge anything in camp levels or events 110 times um let's see so i'm not working on either of those things right now so i'm gonna toss those off to the side do i have i don't see that i have a prism flower section going on right now okay so those can hang out there um merge things so this is where i mean it always it makes sense to keep going with the coins but quite frankly i have so many of these flowers all over my camp i'm going to do some flower merges it is working towards my season so i am okay with it but yeah i'm getting a little bit claustrophobic here so the thing with these merges, um, if you want to, you can do three merges instead of five merges. So if you just are trying to merge things and you don't really, like, you don't really care what you're merging, you're not working on anything specific, you can get more merges by doing three merges. Um... But I am working on those life flowers because, as we've said, everybody is always working on their life flowers. So I'd rather get, you know, my full merges worth out of them. Let's see. Pull that over there. That's a five merge there. That's a five merge there. Got a five merge right there. All right, it is feeling much better with this cleaned up a little bit. Uh, yeah, definitely. So, 
couple of those over there. Then I'm probably going to do a few more coin merges because coins are always good. Harvest up those watermelons. That looks good. That looks good. Get those tap. Alright. I've got these two little pink flowers right here. I really, really kind of wish I didn't have those. But I know as soon as I delete them, I'm going to get one more pink flower from somewhere. Because that seems to be what happens. So, might as well just let them be, just let them be. So yeah, a lot of my season quests this time, I'm just going to be using my watermelon trees and coin harvesting to get those quests. I mean, right now these are sort of the goals I'm working on. Building up my life flowers, building up my eggs, building up my dragons. So it seems like there's no reason not to use this for this, and it goes pretty quickly. I'm already a quarter of the way through those merges, so that's not bad at all. Keep them harvesting. Oops, sorry. I always feel a little bit bad when I accidentally tap on a dragon who's working or tap on the thing they're working on. I can, I can just imagine them being like, hey dude, I was doing that. But, you know, it's all good. Looks good. Get those over there. Okay. There's that right there, that right there. Building the coins back up. Yeah, the other thing with the season, um, they it's definitely easier to play these seasons when you are at a place with your dragon power and your dragon stamina that you know you can just keep working in your camp and you never hit that wall of all oh, dragons asleep um, and that's where if you're a fairly newer player you know and you still have you still run into that sometimes um, that's where you I would go back and forth between working in my camp until all my dragons are sleeping and then go work on the world map until, you know, all of my chalices are gone. And that's where those one chalice levels are so helpful. Because with that you can you can play seven levels and if you pick the right levels to play, um, it really you know, it's really helpful for you. And then once your chalice is gone, you come back to camp. And all of your dragons won't be rested, but there should probably be a few of them awake and ready to do stuff. Um, and that's sort of where I am with merge elves. I go back and forth between camp and the world map quite a bit for just that reason. It's like, okay, the elves are all sleeping, let's go burn some chalices. How are we doing? 40. 
Um, another good way of getting your merges would be to buy chess, the, um, the moon chess and the sun chess that have so the moon chests give you life flowers and fruit trees and the sun chests, I think they're called sun chests, um, give you, let's go take a look. I keep putting that little recording dot in my own way, <laughs> um, give you stones and dead plants and golden chests. There we go. Um, and of course, if you're working on your prism flowers or your dragon trees or mushrooms, there are other chests that you can buy, um, especially if you're planning on using the Ruins of the Sky Palace to get some eggs. Um, the occult chest is really good. So you have some options, like the season doesn't necessarily have to be all of this harvesting that I'm doing. It's just none of those are things I'm working on. And yes, I want to move through this quickly, but I also want to do things that are going to be helpful to me. Um, so I would rather focus on this kind of harvesting and merging up coins and things like that. Which, oops. I, I'm sorry if this is a boring video. I just thought it would be, you know, fun to document a season for Merge Dragons. Um, especially knowing that there are, that since this is in beta, there's still a lot of people who aren't necessarily going to see this season but later when the seasons become available for everyone oops there we go um having having access to the videos and seeing how the older seasons were played um that can definitely help you I looked at some information about the last season, the Wild Hearts season, and the quests for this season are different from the Wild Hearts season. So I think part of uh, the beta that they're doing is trying to figure out exactly what quests they should do, what numbers they should use, like what what sort of feels like too much or maybe too little for the different levels and different rewards that people are getting um, and just trying to balance out the gameplay is sort of the feeling I'm getting looking at the quest that we have for this season compared to the previous season. Um, I think... It seems like the quests for this season are a little bit harder. The numbers are a little higher. Uh, for example, the one we just did where we had to heal 55 land. Uh, in the last season, that was 45. So they're definitely experimenting with some stuff and trying to figure out the best gameplay for this. Um, which I respect that, you know, very few products were perfect in their first iteration. <laughs> um, the nice thing though is Graham Games does have experience with building good seasons because, um, Merge Magic has had seasons for a while now and those tend to be pretty well balanced. Um, I don't always play the Merge Magic Seasons. So with Merge Dragons, I my collector somewhat OCD streak kicks in and I'm like, you know what, I, I really want all of the things, all of the dragons. So 
even if they introduced a dragon design I wasn't absolutely in love with, I would probably still get the season pass. Oops, that was clumsy. That's okay. Um, just to be able to have that dragon if it was the only way of getting it. Um, but with Merge Magic, I'm much more picky. Like, if I don't like the design of a creature, I'm not going to spend real money trying to get that creature. Like that's just not, not my priority there. Um, so the current season that's going on, I went back and forth on this one a little bit. It's the, it's the little flower creatures and they are cute. Don't get me wrong. Like it's an absolutely adorable design. Oops. Um, but I'm not, I'm not a huge flower person. Um, some of the things that I have absolutely had to do, they, with one of the seasons recently, I think the one before the one they're on right now, there was the snow fox. It's like a white fox with ice crystals in its fur and like my daughter's favorite animal is a fox. So it's like, okay, I absolutely have to get that. So I, there was no question, no hesitation about playing that season. Cause I was like, no, these are adorable and I need them in my camp. So, or my garden is what it's called in Merge Magic. So I went for that super fast. The flower one, I kicked back and forth because they are cute, but I also know with all of the events coming up in all of my games, this is the season where I'm really likely to buy um, gems or golden leaves for merge elves um, or, you know, whatever the premium currency is for a game. It's like, if I'm already going to be spending that money, I, I want to make sure I'm spending it on things that I really, really want. So, yeah. That's why I didn't end up playing the season for Merge Magic this time. But, I want to say there was a Mistral season that I definitely played. I think it was the first time the Mistral was introduced. The little flying squirrel sugar glider critter. Um, definitely did that one. And the Narwig. Had to get the Narwig. <laughs> um, I keep hoping... I know there are some like reptilian creatures. I love snakes. I love lizards. Um, they're sort of my favorite animal. So any creature that is sort of in that theme, I'm definitely going to go for. So I keep waiting, you know, for some new snake creatures in Merge Magic. Oh, part of me wonders if I shouldn't just be merging watermelons. I know it's not the most efficient, but... No, 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 no. Don't be impatient. It's all going well. It's doing exactly what it's supposed to. Getting all kinds of lovely coins. That's good, that's good. Just have to pay more attention to what's ready for merges. That's all. All right.
got some more blue life flowers right here. It's me blue life flower merch. Those twin life flowers. Put that up there. That's gonna be a merge. That's gonna be a merge. already have five right there. It's going to give me a five merge right there. Five merge right here. That was a magic gem of tears. How am I doing? All right. Doing pretty well. Got 17 merges to go. That's not bad at all. Go right there, get that over there, get that right there. All oh, the lovely five merges. Eleven more to go. Oops, somebody set one down for me. <laughs> Get that over there for the five, this for the five merge. So close, only eight more. Uh, that was a clumsy merge. I did not mean to do that, but that's okay. It gave me another merge. <laughs> a merge is a merge. It would be so funny if the next quest was a harvest quest. And just keep harvesting things. But if it was a harvest quest, it would go faster than this merging quest. So that would be okay, I think. Would be okay. That, that. Alright, how are we doing over here? They keep bringing the silver coins really far over. There's a five merge for silver. That and that. There, that should be a five merge. That's not a five merge. What is behind there? Oh! Well, there we go. Get some merges from that. Yay! And now we get to move on. Okay. Let's see what the next one is. So, we get... A silver treasure chest, three more beautiful prism dragon eggs, and gain or create stars in camps or event six times. Okay, so that's definitely going to be going out to the world map. Um, And I'm saving these eggs. Yay, for some flowers. Um, saving those eggs. Five merge there. All right. So off to the world map to get 
Oh, there was a level I was playing. Hmm. Let's see. Four stars. Oh, that takes seven. No. No, no, no. I can't remember the name of the level that I discovered that I thought would be really good for stars. No, what? Someone mentioned Skull Grove. Let's take a look at this one. Oh yes, this one will definitely be good for getting stars. We get our three stars, it's pretty quick. And all of the stars show up before the levels end. So there's one star over there. Very nice, very nice. And then we can merge those to get a fourth one nice and fast. Grab that coin. Yeah. Okay, so I need to remember Skull Grove. Very good for stars. <laughs> and yeah, that looks good there. And if we do it one more time, that's going to get us the other two stars we need. That right there, that right there. Make the merge, make the merge. All right, let's claim that. So that's another prism flower. And we get an adorable butterfly whelp. Oh, so cute. Merge any life flowers. Okay, we are back to merge any life flowers. Okay. So with this, I'm going to head back to my camp, see how many life flower merges I can get there. And then if, depending on how it goes, I'll probably head back to the world map to finish that one up. All right, going back to camp. Um, let's see, I do want to open that, I do want to open that, the prism flower can hang out over here with the other prism flower that I don't necessarily want right now. Okay, so I'll merge those together, pick all that up. Excellent. So now we are on to life flower mergers. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so this is one that if you really wanted to move through this one super fast, you could definitely buy some of those moon chests. I just don't want the fruit trees. Let's see, I need to do 40. Uh, I suppose I could just sell the fruit trees since I don't want them. I have plenty of stone, so that's not an issue. Yeah, 
All right, fine. I, I talked myself right into it. I'm going to buy some chess because 40 is an awful lot of merges that they want me to make for this. Uh, all right. In the interest of making things easier to look at, I'm just going to slide those trees back out of the way, get myself a little bit of cleared out space. Oops, didn't mean to collect that, but that's okay. Uh, go ahead and grab that merge. Go ahead and grab this merge. Okay, let's buy some of those moon chests. We'll stay over in this little corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Merge those up for the higher levels. Okay. Oh, and of course, tons and tons of root tree things. That's okay. I've done this before where I've used the chest to get life flowers and just sold the fruit trees and then I always find myself thinking why didn't I just save those and bubble up those fruit trees that way later when I am working on them I would have them uh, but it always sounds like a lot of work three four five I'm gonna tuck those back there. There we go. Um, there we go. I don't know. It, in a lot of ways, it does sound like the smartest thing to do. I don't know why I'm not doing it. I just I don't want to. I guess is the only reason. <laughs> so we have five, one, two, three, four, five. Right, give me a ten merge. All right, this one's nice. This one has a whole bunch of life flowers in it. One, two, three, four, five merge there, five merge there, five merge there. Five merge right there. Alright. So this is definitely going. Definitely going. This is one of the reasons. So in my Merge Elf game, the the sort of premise behind my gameplay that I'm following is to not delete anything because I've wondered so many times if I played Merge Dragons and had never deleted or sold things unless I was purposely doing it for the coins, um, how much faster would it be to build up things? Like how many copies of different wonders would I have and it it was a curiosity I had but I was also like well I'm at the point with this game where it really doesn't matter how curious I am with it because I'm so far along I'm not gonna go and start over from the beginning to find out eight nine ten um but then I discovered merge elves and I was like here's a comparatively brand new game. I'd only been playing it for a short time when I had this idea. And I was like, huh, I, I could do that with this game and it would be a fun experiment. So far, it's been really interesting because I'm discovering that you know, my, my desire to keep my camp nice and clean and organized, it's a little bit harder to do that when you're just keeping everything. 
But I have also found that I'm finding ways of organizing my camp anyway. And the nice thing with Merge Elves is there is a lot of space in your camp. Um, so you, you can sort of easily not get rid of things and still have plenty of space. Like when you very first start out, that's not going to be true because you don't have a lot of land cleared yet. And like, that's, that's all there is to it for that. But as you get further on and not even a ton further on just a little bit into the game you realize you do have the space to keep things I don't know why I opened that um, probably just because it was in front of me and I'm tapping on things oh, that would have been a six merge I don't want to do that that looks good that looks good. All right, only nine more. Um, but yeah, so it's been really interesting. I, I've been enjoying myself, enjoying my little experiment. Ten. All right. I think that's the last round of chests I need to buy. I need that. Oh, that was clumsy, but that's okay. It happens. Sometimes it feels like the items are more excited to merge than other times. Like all they have to do is look at each other. And they're like, shloop. That looks good there. Bring this over for the merge there. Bring that up for the merge. Okay, stop. <laughs> stop accidentally clicking on things. There we go. All right, so at this point, I only have two more merges, and I'm going to be able to easily get those without having to mess with anything else. All right, very nice. There's a five merge right there. that out of the way, that out of the way, and these guys can just slide right over there and be perfectly fine. Okay, so now I'm going to spread these trees back out. So they have plenty of space to make some little blue flowers for me. Let's see what the next quest is. Let's see, so we got a treasure chest, and three sapphire mystery eggs. Very cool. Harvest from anything 125 times. Alright. Getting a whole bunch of eggs here. Yeah, I don't need that. In fact, I'm just going to sell those. End up with another little pink flower, but that's okay. All right, harvest from things. This is where we get to turbo harvest watermelons and watermelon trees. Uh, I haven't been keeping track of time. I'm not quite sure how long this video has gone. There we go. Uh, 
Alright, moving along quite nicely. Everything is getting all crowded together on this side of the board, though. I don't know. Come on. Go over there. Set some stuff down in the open space. <laughs> Sometimes the dragons do silly things. Alright, we are getting through this one nice and speedily. Let's see, that's one, two, three. That should be a ten merge right there. Five merge right there, just to clear some of this out. Back to harvesting. Alright. That out of the way, that out of the way. Clearing up a little bit of space here. Almost done. Only five more on the harvest. All right. That is the harvesting quest done. And we get another decision egg. And the next one is merge eggs for an energy boost. Nice. All right. Uh, let's see. So for the decision egg, let's see what our choices are oh well another sun egg sun dragon egg gotta take it yay all right so i should not have opened that bubble but that's fine all right so now we are merging eggs I have a bunch of merges waiting, so let's do the Prism Dragon. Let's do those guys right there. And I believe I have a Sun Dragon merge. Yes, I do. Oh, love those sun dragons. They are always awesome. Sliding things around a little bit. Yeah, okay, fine. You can stay right there. Okay, <laughs> trying to keep things compact so I have more space for working on things up here. All right, very nice. Let's see, so that gave me three merges doing that, and I've got some merges in my book, so let's take a look at what those are. Oh, I have another Sun Dragon merge. Merge there, very nice. Three level twos and two level threes. Got Prism Dragon merges. And I have those green dragon merges that I saved up. Alright, that brings us to eight. So I only need three more merges to finish this quest. 
Um, let's see. I can afford to buy a couple of eggs. I believe it's the Gollum Dragon Eggs. I have three of those. So if I buy just two on those, that will give me a merge. Very nice. Um, how else am I doing? All right, so I don't think I have any other easy dragon merges, but that's okay. So I'm going to harvest some more coins. Uh, with everything I have here, I think I'm pretty close. Right there is going to be multiple of five. Five, that's a ten merge. Five merge right there. Five merge, five merge. Yeah, you guys go over there. <laughs> You're just in the way. Let's see. That's a five merge. Alright, so this is looking pretty good. Cleaning things up, making sure I have plenty of space, making sure my trees have plenty of space. Nothing in there. Let's see. I am still a little ways away from my next set of tiaras not super far but maybe further than i feel like doing in this recording um hmm trying to decide let's Making decisions, making decisions. Um, I do, at this point, I still want to keep working on this in my camp. There is plenty of time. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm just going to be patient. I'm going to keep working on this in my camp. It will probably happen even faster than I think it will. And that will let me have that extra dragon power here instead of wasting it in a level. So, since we've been recording for a little while now, I think I'm going to wrap this up. And... Um, come back and do another recording once I have, once I've finished this quest. Um, we'll come back and see what the next quest is. If we take a look, got all the way up to quest 15, so that's awesome. And as far as another spell speed boost. Alright, it looks like the last speed boost is going to be quest 21. So I want to get up through quest 21 done before this weekend is going to be my goal. And I think, I think I'm going to be able to do it. I believe in myself.
we could do this. Um, but yeah, so if you are working on your season, definitely good luck. Keep it up. You've got this. Whatever you happen to be working on, keep it up. You've got it. And I hope everyone has a great day and happy marching.